Hello, third year. How are you today? Welcome back. Yes, welcome back. Welcome back. What about holidays? Yes, welcome back. Yes, did you enjoy holidays? Yes, could you stay at home with your family? I hope yes, okay? Today is Monday the 27th of July. Yes, okay? And we're going to check, yes, we're going to check pages from the Quadernillo. We are going to check pages from the Quadernillo, okay? Pages 7, 10, 17, 23, 27, exercise 1, yes, and page 30, yes, okay, and you have to, uh, in the Google Classroom, you have to give me your PDF, composition number 1, and composition number 2, from the list, of course, from the quadernillo. Is it clear? Yes? Okay. We are going to check. Remember to put checking is very interesting, yes? The kilo I want you, um, because we are going, today we start the second part of the year. So I need you with uh, energy, yes? Um, I want you to be positive, yes? I want you to um, be better, Yes, okay, on this second part, yes, okay, good, so let's go, page 7, page 7 from the quadernillo, yes, okay, remember to put a tick or a cross and correct the mistake, is it clear, yes, 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 all right, there we are, good, uh, mm -mm -mm. page 7, B1, C, Two, D one, E one, F two. Right, page ten. Let's go to page ten. Right. Okay, they are going to play tennis. It's going to uh, blah 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 blah. It's not going to rain. Yes. Where are you going to, number three, where are you going to put that? Yes. He's going to, oh, he's not going to jump because he looks uh, afraid, scared. Yes, okay. Uh, five, how long are you going to stay? Acuérdate, stay no es estar, eh, sino quedarse. Eh? Number six. I'm going to uh, 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 buy that car. Number seven, you are going to, you are going to, you are not going to eat all that. Number eight, are you going to shave? Afeitarse today. And let's go to B, the text. Two, I'm talking. Three, are climbing. Four, aren't windsurfing. Five, are having. Six, are going. Seven, um, I am planning. Planning with double N, yes, okay? Page 17, page 17. There we go. Good. Toda la primer parte, ojo. Tenés grammar aquí, voy al ejercicio de abajo, eh. Ok. She went into the bathroom. At 7.40 or 7.40, yes, or 20 to 8, she was having a shower. At 25 past 8, she was going, yes, at quarter to 9, she was working. Exercise two. Past continuous, remember. In this, on this page we practice past continuous. Rose and Helen were laughing. While we were having lunch, someone stole blah, blah, blah. Lights went off. Children were getting a girl 
screamed. O oh, a girl was screaming, también puede ser ahí, las dos en past continuous. When the children got, yes, the ride, a girl was screaming. When, when the children were getting on the ride, a girl was screaming. Yes, acuérdate que pueden ser una acción en past continuous y una que corta en past, o las dos en past continuous. Uh, was tidying. When the phone rang, while I was walking, the wind was, was blowing away a branch on that big tree. No, no, no. While I was walking to school, the wind blew. Yes, okay, the en pasado. Yes, blew. Away a branch of that big tree. Tom's car broke while he was driving. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Remember why and when for past continue. While I was talking on the phone, my mother, yes, was cooking. Yes, I was cooking when my mother interrupted me. Yes, with her call, for example. Yes, 23. 23, 23, ok, comparatives, tigers are louder than cats, horses are bigger, ojo, ese bigger, doble G, consonante, vocal, duplico la consonante, en este caso tenemos big, consonante, vocal, I, I, G, consonant, double G, yes, dogs are more interesting than sheep, eagles are more beautiful than chickens, Horses are than sheep are, y ahí es cualquiera de las que vos quieras, eh? Eh, than sheep, horses are friendlier, no, tenemos usado ya, yes, ok, um, more intelligent, yes, podría ser, than sheep, birds are than fish, yes, uh, birds are more boring than fish, elephants are Uh, bigger than giraffes, whales are more dangerous, no, 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 whales are less dangerous than sharks, yes, okay, uh, or more intelligent than sharks, snakes are more dangerous than sharks, hmm, I don't think so, yes, okay, but can be, Esto es, cada uno puso más o menos lo que pensaba de cada animal, sheep are, sheep are, Um, cuter than cats, penguins are than fish, are um, more intelligent, yes, okay, is it clear? Good, and horses are, uh, you really have to choose from the box and use your own ideas, yes, por eso va a variar de las que yo fui eh, haciendo, ojo, Acordate de que si es un adjetivo largo, yes, vas a usar more. Si es un adjetivo corto, more interesting than. Si es un adjetivo corto, fre, eh, tenemos bigger than. Yes, ok, shorter than. Ok, bueno, y después el quiz, que es lo que vos pensabas de cada animal, yes. Ok, rabbits are better runners than lions. Y das vuelta y te fijas la respuesta del test. Que te salió en el test, ¿ok? 27, ¿ok? Only exercise one, yes. Who? Susan is the woman who. The flat whose owner, acuérdate de who para persona, whose para decir de quién, para eh, el posesivo. That flat whose owners are in Miami is sold, yes. That marker whose owner is teacher root, yes. That is the marker, sorry, that is the marker whose owner is me, Aldana. ¿Ok? Para que de, cuando quieres decir algo de esa persona. Usamos el whose. Ya lo explicamos antes de las holidays. This house belongs to the woman whose father, ¿sí? La mujer, ¿de quién murió el padre? Died last year. The chair is the object that, that chair, 
eche, ¿ah? ¿eh? Corregí la I. My mother is the woman who. Uh, my, neighbor, my neighborhood is the place where. My living room is the place where. Para lugares. My living room is the place where. This is the object which or that. Objetos which or that. Yes. This is the bridge which my mother wants to buy. Fridge, perdón, fridge, no fridge, fridge, eh, refrigerador, heladera. David is the man who I love. Yes, okay? Let's go to 30. 30. Okay, will. It will rain. Number two, will be. Number three, won't finish. Will be. Pass, won't pass. Yes, won't come. Will be. See. Don't worry about the money. I will pay this time. I'm going to have a baby. I will wash my car. I will have a look. Yes, I will make some toast. Finalizadas las correcciones de eh, cuadernilla. So, now, yes. Pay attention. I will revise again. Yes, relative clauses. Okay, good. Today we have we are going to work with the dates on these pages, yes? Pages. Unit 8 pages 93 94 95, 96, and 97 from the class book, okay? These are the pages we are going to work. As, uh, then we are going to, as topics, yes, we are going to uh, go to relative clauses. Atención acá, eh? Who, which, where, where, that, yes, okay, and then we're going to go to conditionals, we're going to revise conditional zero, conditional one, is it clear? All right. So pay attention now. Remember we have conditional zero if plus present plus present. Then we have conditional one if plus present plus will. Acuérdate que te pongo will, pero no puedes negar will, won't. Yes, pero me refiero al will, al future. Yes, as a homework. You are going to have pages 60, exercise 1, 61, 62 exercises 1, 3, 4, and 5. And page 63. All these pages from the activity book. Is it clear? Yes? All right. So that, that is all for today. Let's put the date on these pages. And we're going to have vocabulary. Yes? Que vas a poner todo el vocabulario en el cuaderno de la A a la Z. Yes, is it clear? Technology. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. Okay, uh, well. So pay attention now. Uh, I want you to have a sheet of paper, un pedazo de papel. Puede ser blanco, sí, o de color, yes. Y quiero que lo dividas en dos. I want you to divide the paper in two. Acá vas a poner 
On the right, conditional one, and on the left, conditional two. And you're going to write examples with using conditional one. Is it clear? If I study, I learn. If I do my homework, I can advance on the topics, or I can be better. This is three combos if I, yes, if I am happy, I sing. If I have a wash, I can relax. And three with he or she, yes, okay? If she studies, ¿por qué quiero que hagas con she también? Para que no te olvides la S en este present simple. Vos ya sabés a esta altura, you know how we form present simple. And present simple is a, a, te, a tense that need an S when we are talking about he, she, or he. If she studies, she learns. If she has a bath, she can relax. If she watches TV, she chooses Netflix. Netflix. Is it clear? When you finish, if plus, plus present plus present, that is conditional zero, you will go to conditional one. If present plus will. If I study, I will learn. If I have a bath, I will be happy. Yes. If I watch TV, I will watch Netflix. If my mother, if my mother is happy, yes, she goes shopping. She goes, she will go, perdón, in a two, in a one. Uh, if my mother goes shopping, she will be very happy. If she watches Netflix, she will watch a film. Yes, is it clear? Yes, si hace tal cosa, estará feliz. Hará tal cosa, ¿está? Entonces tenemos present, present. Si estudio, aprendo. Si estudio, aprenderé. ¿Está? Once you finish this, yes, you have another paper, te vas a otro papel blanco y vas a poner who, which, where y that. Yes? Who, which, where and that. That are the relative clauses. ¿Is it clear? Ok. Y vas a escribir Ojo, who for people, yes, which for things, where for places, that for both, things, yes, and people. Again, who for people. Which for, uh, which for objects, for things, where for places. Y acá viene la parte donde al lado, de cada, una vez de establecer eso, tú no lo vas a dividir en dos, ¿eh? Vas a poner who, which, where and that. This is the woman who I love. Yes? She is the woman who studies with me. She is the teacher who is very happy. Yes? Is it clear? Termino con who? Which? Four things. This marker, the marker which I use is red. The marker which I use. ¿Quién? Cual, el cual, the marker which I use is red. The teddy bear which I like is brown. Yes? Okay? Is it clear? The computer which I need is very, very expensive. Yes? Is it clear? Vamos a where? This is the place, this is the house where I live. The house where I live is big. Yes? The supermarket where I buy is APA. Or is Carrefour. Is it here? Is it clear? Vamos a that. Y that podemos usar. Susan is the woman that I love. People that live in Mexico are happy. Yes? Entonces podemos usar para las dos cosas. This is the house that needs cleaning. Yes? This is the marker that 
I use. ¿Está? ¿Is it clear? Good. Una vez que te quedaron los dos ejemplos de conditional one, conditional zero, tenés los examples de relative clauses, los pegás en la carpeta. ¿Is it clear? Yes? Ok. En tu cuaderno de inglés. Todo lo que sea vocabulario que hoy voy a mencionar y voy a decir que marquemos, va a estar en el cuaderno que yo dije que tenían que hacer, que pedí que tenían que hacer, el cuaderno de la A a la Z. ¿Está? Todo el vocabulario tiene que ir ahí. ¿Está? Por eso pongo por aquí, uh, de la A a la Z. ¿Está? Yes? All right. So, let's go very quickly. Let's go very quickly. Put the dates in all the pages. 94, 95, 97. Yes? 96 and 97. Is it clear? So, Acordate, ¿qué revisamos hoy? Relative clauses, conditional zero and conditional one. ¿Ok? Uh, let's go to the pages. While we are going to, uh, while we are working on the pages, yes, we are going to continue with other things. Yes, ok. Good, good, good. Well, this is done. So let's go to page 90, 93, perdón, 93. 93, ok. So, uh, look at the photo. I have some photos for projection also. Track 16, Unit 8 Opener. Ok, so you have the photo of technology here. And you have to say, how do you think the robot and the humans are working together? And in what other ways do robots work with human? Yes, yeah, so this is the topic. Yes, okay. Um, the relationship between technology, yes, and um, people, yes, men. Is it clear? Wait a minute. I'm looking for some projections. Prepare for you. There we are. minutes there we go There we go, okay? So what do you think about uh, men and, and, and robots working together? Do you think it is okay? Do you think uh, there could be a connection, a real connection between the two of them? You know, if you can see this picture, if you look at this picture, They seem to be, he seems to be, the human seem to be, seems to be happy. And, well, you know, uh, 
you know, uh, robots, uh, maybe, yes, okay, they are maybe happy, you know, they are working, men is working on um, artificial intelligence, yes, so maybe the robot is happy too. But do you think all uh, ro workings, uh, working with robots is an advantage or a disadvantage? Yes, I will show you another picture. You know, he's sitting, relaxing, and the robot is ready to work. Yes, for those people who are lazy, Yes, it could be unfair because you will cash your money every month, yes, but the robot will do your work, yes, okay? What about that? What about this uh, question, yes? Uh, if they start working, I think men, there is a possibility that men yes, can lose Yes, uh, their job. And what happens? Okay, do you think men, yes, human, yes, will be replaced, will be replaced by robots? Or they will work together on the same thing? Yes, because you know, if you have, uh, if you have robots, Yes, they can, do, they can do more work in less period. Yes, okay. Do you think there are more advantages than disadvantages or there are more disadvantages than advantages? So I want you to think about this at home. Yes, and I want you to think about this picture. Men working, yes, with... Um, Robots, yes, okay. It's they are useful, yes, because sometimes they can do things that we can't in a, in a, in a short period, yes, okay. Uh, what things they can do, for example, they can check emails, okay. They can help with homework, yes. Do you imagine yourself with a robot helping with? the homework of English, yes, okay, will you learn the same, okay, uh, what else, they can read the news, headlines, okay, uh, what else, they can make a call, yes, okay, so they can film, yes, imagine you can train your robot, your robot, yes, to help you with homework, for checking your emails, for checking the tasks you have to solve every day. Yes, so imagine uh, a robot helping you when you go abroad to find uh, places. Indeed, they are doing that because you have a GPS. It's a little robot that helps you to find the names of the streets. Yes, so that uh, technology is very useful if we know how to use it, if we use it wisely. Yes, is it clear? So, um, if, we, if you go to exercise two, yes, you have exercise two there, listen to someone talking about the importance, yes, of technology in our lives. Yes, how does technology help us in our everyday life, yeah, lives? Number two, why does technology sometimes have made mistakes? And where does the robot in the photo work? And what does it do? What task does it have? Yes, and then you will highlight all the keywords for, do you think a robot will be able to fall in love? Yes, do you think in the future robots will fall in love with a human, yes, get bored, get angry, have new ideas, make decisions, make mistakes, sleep, solve problems, speak a language, understand instructions. What simple or repetitive job do you do at work, at school or at home? 
which of these jobs could you give to a robot in the future okay so I want you to we were talking about this which jobs do you do for example every day you get up you prepare your breakfast uh, you get dressed yes you wash everything that was used in the breakfast yes you prepare your things for school you do homework you study yes okay you go to the different places where you study music art yes you do exercises so think about all these things you do every day and think about answer this question these questions i am doing i am making now are for you to answer at home yes don't be like this no yes answer this question speak at home yes and uh, going back to what i was saying what things of the things you do i have mentioned before what of these things do you think a robot could be able to do yes what tasks yes repetitive tasks yes uh, do you think a robot could be able to do tasks that involve uh, emotional thinking? Okay. Is it clear? Good. So let's um, listen. Yes? Okay? There we are. Okay, I am exercise two. Are you there? Good. Track 60, Unit 8 Opener. It's difficult to remember what life was like before the types of modern technology we have today. Technology solves mathematical problems for us. It sends messages to friends in a second. It even cooks dinner for us. When technology makes a mistake, it's only because a human has given the wrong instructions. So, what's the next big step in technology? Robots are common in industries such as car manufacturing, and recently... You know, they are common in uh, car manufacturing, yes? I think th these industries are used to using, yes, uh, robots. NASA sent the first humanoid robot into space, where it works on the International Space Station. It's called Robonaut 2, or R2, and it does all the simple or repetitive jobs, so the astronauts can spend more time doing experiments. You know, uh, they go, yes, uh, they work with astronauts, yes, and they do repetitive tasks and simple tasks. So while in this case, it is a big advantage, yes, because while they are organizing repetitive uh, things, yes, okay, tasks, astronauts are uh, busy on what? Doing experiments. So for me, it could be great to have uh, robots assistants, yes. Perhaps in a few years time, Every home will have their own robot to do all the boring work around the house. Okay, well, so number two, uh, are you there? Okay, number two, solves mathematical problems, sends messages to friends, cooks dinner for us. Number two, because a human has given the wrong instruction, yes? Okay, if a robot can only make a mistake if you have given it the wrong uh, task, okay? Um, three, on the International Space Station, yes, it does all the simple and repetitive jobs. Yes, number three, yes, okay. And Well, look at these human actions and which can robots do? And, and this is for you, yes, okay? Um, the, that's the pen, at work, uh, filling paper, making tea, coffee, answering uh, calls, routine calls, organizing email, junk emails, yes, okay, at school, photocopying, yes, uh, photocopying, yes, doing the uh, register, you know, 
Peter yes um, Capusotto here um, Rodrigo Ferrari is here so he can ask for the attendance also and while the robot is asking for the attendance I could be doing other tasks with you so it would be great to have a robot as a helper as an assistant yes okay uh, he can make the bed okay shopping take the dog for a walk yes because you know in Buenos Aires I have listened um, uh, the other week that it is very expensive yes they pay a lot of money for people who are in charge of taking your dog for a walk while you are working Yes, people who live in apartments and everything. Yes, and it's very expensive. So it could be very nice to have a robot as an assistant to take the dog for a walk. Yes, okay, good. Um, that was uh, number four. Yes, okay. Shall we go to page 94? Page 94. Yes, there we go. Good, good, good. So we have internet verbs. And these are verbs, yes. You must put these verbs on your de la a la z on your book of vocabulary. Okay, so we have connect, yes, uh, download, login, play, search, set up, subscribe, yes, upload, and write. So you have to think about how you have used the internet in the last twenty-four hours and. Why have you used it? Yes, okay. Have you sent an email? Yes. Have you checked your email? Have you paid for some bills through internet? Have you contact friends on social um, networking sites? Yes, okay. Have you done your homework? Have you sent? Have you sent your homework? Yes, okay. Uh, have you checked the weather forecast? Um, have you uh, seen, uh, have you followed uh, some important uh, person, some, um, you know, uh, famous on Twitter, for example? Yes. Uh, have you sent a tweet? Have you made a, a Skype uh, call? Yes. Have you downloaded music? Have you filmed some photos? Have you um you know upload some photo yes yeah, so there are many 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 things you can do if you are talking about uh technology yes and i want you to highlight all the, the words there and first and zero conditional yes and exercise nine and ten that are uh things exercises that i want you to highlight yes okay well so, um, wait a minute. Yes, if you have, if you see uh, the picture, yes, you know, uh, the importance, yes, of technology in our lives. Yes, okay. And uh, you know, you have uh, phones, you have all the media, yes. Uh, you can do many things with your phone. You can send your homework, yes, through Google Classroom, for example. You can check the weather forecast. You can see, uh, check the time. You can send messages, yes. You can see, you have many applications and you can do many things. Uh, if we are talking the importance of technology in our lives, yes, okay. Technology can, can join us, yes, okay, can join people that are in different parts of the world. If you, can, if you imagine, yes, many years before, we have to send letters, yes, but nowadays you can connect, yes, uh, with people, yes, using uh, many applications, Skype, Facebook, yes, okay. And you can see, yes, your friend, uh, uh, your relatives, yes. And uh, so internet or technology join people, yes, okay. 
this is very important because if you look at this picture, yes, he's full of everything, full of information. So if you use internet or technology wisely, your mind will be full of a lot of information. Yes, okay. So this is the importance of technology. It can join us, yes. You can be in places that you haven't been using technology, yes. So it could be very nice, yes, if people use technology wisely, yes, okay. So, you know, the PSP, you have the telephone, yes, okay. Uh, technology is useful. Yes, because you can do many things, yes, with technology. You can have fun, you can communicate, you can watch films, yes, okay. What about this coffee? Yeah, it was made, yes, with a coffee machine, yes, and it's, it tastes delicious, for example. So all these things are important. But if you talk about technology, we are full of technology. Look at this, uh, look at this vest, for example. All this technology, you know, telephones, iPads, a computer, a lamp, a watch, yes, a little plane there, yes, a coffee that was made, yes, but another tool, a coffee machine, Yes, so technology is everywhere, but I think we must uh, use it wisely. Is it clear? Okay, what do you think? Think about it and describe these pictures I have sent to you, I have shown at home. Yes, okay? Well, shall we go to uh, exercise two? Yes, exercise two from page 94. Okay, number one. All these birds, I want you to put all these birds, yes, in your notebook of vocabulario, yes, de la A a la Z. One, yes, one, to set up a new online account, yes, to start a new online account, yes, entonces acá van a estar todos los verbos de esto, por ejemplo, set up, Upload. No voy a poner todos. Pongo etcétera porque vos ya sabés que son los que marcamos. We highlight it. Yes, okay. Um, number two. Download music. I don't buy CDs. I much, it, much, it is much easier to download. Bueno, descargar, you know. Write, number three. A blog. You write a blog. Number four, play online games. Number six, search. Perdón. Five, search. Information. Yes, okay. Yes, you search. Look for information. Number six, subscribe. Yes, are you a uh, subscribe? Subscribed, yes, on any page, yes, suscribirse, yes, and then you have seven, upload, yes, do you upload your photos, your private photos on the internet, subir, yes, okay, on the Instagram, on the, and any media, social site, yes, okay, log in, yes, okay, you log in your password, Yes, and then you connect. Yes, okay, in the last one is connect. So, set up, start an account. Download, write, play, search, subscri subscribe, upload, login, and connect must be in your vocabulario, in your libro de vocabulario. Yes, okay, so let's go to exercise four. Read the blog, ahí tenés un blog al lado. How do you think? How, who do you think wrote it, sorry, 
Why did the person write it? And you have to do exercise four and five, okay? Now is the time that you stop the video and then listen to the answers. Is it clear? Good. There we are. Number four. The blog was written by someone traveling or working in Kachatka, Kachatka. perhaps uh, a backpacker, but probably a person on, a, on an expedition. He or she is in a group and working in a forest. The blog is personal, it's a personal diary of the trip. Uh, it may be aimed at friends or family who want to know what the person is doing. It might be aimed to other travelers who like to hear to hear about people's adventure. Have you ever wrote, have you ever written, sorry, have you ever written a blog? Yes? Okay, blogs, this kind, the, in this case, this blog is aimed to uh, the family because sometimes when you travel abroad, yes, uh, you open a blog, you, yes, and your followers are, can be other travelers or your family because uh, you write, you know, as a diary, you post every day the things you are doing. Yes, and your family can know about you through the blog. Yes, is it clear? Exercise five. One, hard. Two, good, sunny. Good. Uh, very different. Number three. Number four, useful. Number five, someone else. Number six, didn't know. Yes? And from page 95, I want you to highlight the grammar. You have, I have already explained conditional zero and one. Yes, okay. And you're going to do exercises six, seven, and eight. Six, seven, and eight. Yes, okay. I will give you the answers because I have already explained this grammar, okay. Stop the video, do the activities, and then listen to the answer. Is it clear? Good, 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 good. Alright, one, who, a, two, who, b, three, that, which, e, are you there? Yes. Wait, 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 I'm checking, wait, wait. I went there to the other page. Wait a minute. Okay, good. There we are. Mm -hmm. Okay, exercise seven. One D. If I get lost on the way to your house, D. I use the sat nav in my car. Two B. Three C. Four A. Five F. Six E. Yes. Okay. Good. La estructura que es la, la, la seis ya ustedes la saben que es la que expliqué acá. ¿Sí? Así que me subrayan el grammar chart, por favor. Yes, is it clear? Highlight the grammar chart. Eight. Yes. Go. We need three drives. Ojo que dice if my brother. Eh? Drives, lo que enfaticé de la S, de la tercera persona del present simple. Four, C. Five, I will buy. Will buy, sorry. Six isn't, seven ring, and eight won't pass. Yes? Is it clear? Good, good, good. So let's go to, um, yes. Have you been on a camping trip? What did you take? And I want, esto estaba preparado para hacerlo acá en clase, pero quiero que pienses en casa. I want you to think at home. If you were, if you, uh, have you ever been on a camp trip? 
Yes, okay, what did you take? From all the things, I want you to think about the invention that you take. Yes? And what is, uh, what um, it was for, yes? And if it helped you or not. Yes, if it was a, use, a useful object. Yes, okay? You're going to the mountains for two days. The weather forecast is, is for sun on the first day and rain on the second. So you're going to go camping. On the first day, it's going to be sunny. And on the second day, day it's going to be, yes, uh, wind, no, rain. Because you are walking and camping, you don't want to take too many items. And you have tents, rucksacks, and food. Look at the photo to discuss these items and choose the five most useful, okay? And why? You have to choose five items and you have to say why they are useful for you. Is it clear? For example, if you take, if you choose um, a mobile phone, why could you take a mobile phone? Yes? Uh, a, a hair dryer, I could take that in case uh, I swim in the camping, then I will uh, use my hair dryer, yes, for being uh, well, um, yes, um, appropriate for the occasion, yes, fashionable, yes, and my hair could be with a very good style, yes, but sun cream, yes, if it is a sunny day, you know, in Formosa, if you go camping in Formosa, a sun cream could be uh, uh, very useful, yes, because it could uh, look, uh, you can look after yourself from the sun, protect from the sun sunglasses too well okay i think you uh, will take on the first case your mobile phone yes because you can't live with your mobile phone but you have to say why yes okay so choose five items and walk and talk at home why did you take that if i take my hair dryer yes i will need to go to a hairdresser no okay but uh, that is true. I always take uh, uh, my hair dryer because I want to model my hair. Yes, okay. Matches. If I take matches, I will use it for uh, set up a fire, for example. Yes, okay. Is it clear? Good. And this is for you. Shall we go to page uh, 96? Yes, 96. You are going to do exercises 1, 3, 4 and 5. And también está explicado ya lo de relative clauses que tiene que estar subrayado. Y en la página 97, que es la última de hoy, subraya por favor, eh, can break, there is a lake, there is no safe, todo el cuadrito que está en el ejercicio 10. ¿Es clear? Good. Um, let's go. What about inventions? If you talk about inventions, yes? this invention. Ah, sorry. Well, you can see it. But it's a telephone. Yes, maybe you see it, but there is a lot of light. There is a telephone. You know, that was a big, big, amazing invention because people could communicate. Yes, that was like um, uh, the connect the connection we use uh, on the Skype, yes, on social media sites, yes, okay, the application we use. But this was our Skype, yes, our uh, Skype, yes, because we, got, we could communicate through using a telephone. We could talk, yes, first letters and then the telephone. And it was an amazing discovery, yes. You know, the light bulb, trainers, earphones, yes, okay? Think about, about all the inventions you are surrounded by. Wait. Yes, sunglasses. Yes, okay, helmets. Ha a hand that can help people, 
like hasn't got a part of his body to move, to do things, yes, okay, sunglasses, many things, computers, games, consoles, yes, think about all the inventions, yes, and how, yes, they help human, yes, how they help, they help human, the bicycle, for example, an aeroplane, for example, yes, the internet, yes, how they help, yes, how important they are, yes, okay, so you have inventions in exercise one, and I want you to put in the order, yes, in order of importance, is it clear, yes, good, well, um, the airplane allowed people to travel. Think about uh, this invention put in the number and I want you to say at home, what can we do with this? Yes, in what way it helps human? It helps human. Okay, an airplane allowed people to travel around the world. The bicycle allowed people to get across uh, towns quickly. Yes, resulted in people being able to commute to work. Yes, you can go to work. Yes, you can do exercises. Mm -hmm. The camera, well, you can capture memories. A camera is very, very important. Yes, okay. Uh, news, stories, yes, history in general. The internet, oh, you know, uh, it is an amazing way of communication. Yes, because you can have access to information you can have access to communicate with your family, um, access to everything, to the weather forecast, to information, to history. Uh, it's amazing, yes, okay? Um, well, uh, a washing machine, yes, okay? Why the washing machine is doing its task, you can do other things. So it is amazing, yes, it is a help, yes. Women can be, women and men can be free to do other things at that period. And in the past they have to wash their clothes, waste a lot of time doing that, yes. About, and then we have other inventions, ask the computer, I have already talked, um, the boat, guns, yes, okay. Many, many things. We are surrounded, you know. A pen, a pencil, yes, you know, great inventions, yes, okay, well, and this is free, and we are going to go to the listening now, yes, okay, that is an exercise three, you have to listen to a science program and you have to answer these questions there, okay, good, there we are. Track 63. Unit 8B. More than 1 billion people in the world need glasses but cannot get them because they live in places where there aren't any opticians. Hmm. But now there's a scientist who has solved the problem. Joshua Silver has invented glasses which don't need an optician. They look like a pair of normal glasses but there is a pump on each side which uses silicone oil. First, you turn a wheel which controls the pump. The pump pushes the silicone oil through the pipe and it moves into the lenses. As the lens fills with oil, the shape of the lens changes and you turn the wheel until you can see correctly. Know how it works, yes, because in some places there aren't opticians, so people who can't see can't have access to glasses. You know, you always say, okay, something that is normal to have as having a pair of glasses, but in some places people don't have access to this, and a person has invented this kind of glasses. You know how they work. Yeah, and you don't need to go to an optician. Ver had the idea a few years ago, 
and he did many experiments before he got it right. A man in Ghana was the first person who used the new glasses. The man made clothes, but he had bad eyesight and found it difficult to work. When the man put on the glasses, he could start working again. You know, he, um, he works designing clothes and he couldn't see, you know, and the first time and the problem on his sight didn't allow him to continue doing it work, his work. So these glasses solved his life and he, continue, he could continue, he was able to work. Silver says, I will not forget that moment. As a result of this successful test, Silver started an organization which is called the Center for Vision in the Developing World. The glasses are cheap to produce and over 100,000 people now wear them. In particular, the center works with schools in countries where people can't get glasses easily. Being able to see well can have a big effect on their education. Did you listen? Yes, okay. There were many people in many countries that didn't have uh, the opportunity to have a pair of glasses. So, with this invention, yes, many people are studying now and they could see. So sometimes, yes, you don't take care, you don't look after, yes, you don't take care of your glasses, for example, and it's like, oh, it's broken again, I have to take it to the optician, yeah? But you don't really understand that in some other places, there are people who are not able to have something so simple like a pair of glasses. They cannot work, they cannot study. So, imagine this, yes? Okay, because sometimes we don't think about these things, yes? I didn't know about these glasses until I read. I was preparing this for uh, the glasses. This is amazing, yes? Okay, good. So let's go, uh, exercise three, yes, okay. Uh, the problem is that they can't get glasses. Two, silver has invented glasses that don't need an optician, yes? Number four, Porque no hay directamente, yeah? Because they don't have possibility to go to an optician, yes, okay? So, think about all the things. Four, yes, okay, tenemos el four, you have to listen again. La primer parte, rewind it, listen again, and put in order, yes, okay? And then you have to listen again, yes, okay? We are going to listen again, and we are going to put in order, yes, okay? Exercise the next exercise four, and then we are going to go to exercise. Track one. sixty-four. This is the unit um, eight B. The first part. The first half. More than one billion people in the world need glasses, but cannot get them because they live in places where there aren't any opticians. What's in order? But now there's a scientist who has solved the problem. Joshua Silver has invented glasses which don't need an optician. They look like a pair of normal glasses, but there is a pump on each side, which uses silicone oil. First, you turn a wheel, which controls the pump. The pump pushes the silicone oil through the pipe, and it moves into the lenses. As the lens fills with oil, the shape of the lens changes and you turn the wheel until you can see correctly. Okay, so we have the lens changes shape for you turn the wheels on the one, the silicone oil moves three, and the pump pushes the silicone oil through the pipe two. Number five, you have to listen again, all the other parts, yes, okay. I will play it and you have to put true or false. Track 65, 
Unit 8B. Silver had the idea a few years ago, and he did many experiments before he got it right. A man in Ghana was the first person who used the new glasses. The man made clothes, but he had bad eyesight and found it difficult to work. When the man put on the glasses, he could start working again. Silver says, I will not forget that moment. As a result of this successful test, Silver started an organization which is called the Center for Vision in the Developing World. The glasses are cheap to produce and over 100,000 people now wear them. In particular, the center works with schools in countries where people can't get glasses easily. Being able to see well can have a big effect on their education. Okay, well, so number one, true, number two, true, number three, false, number four, false, okay? And then we go to, eh, acordate de subrayar las defining relative clauses, que es lo que expliqué hoy. Who, which, where, and that. Y en la página 170, bueno, no, tenemos todo acá, ¿eh? Está nada de la otra página, ¿ok? Who, which, where, and that. Que es lo que expliqué hoy. So let's go to exercise 6, 7, 8. Yes, ok. 6, 7, and 8. Yes. 10. Yes, 10 and 11, okay? Is it clear? Good. Do the activities. Now is the time that you pause the video, do the activities and then listen to the answer. Number six, who? B, which? And C, where? Number seven. A man in Ghana was the first person who, yes, Subrayan, Silver started an organization which is called blah, 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 Subrayan, highlight, and the center works with school in countries where, highlight, yes, eso sería toda la um, relative clause, is it clear? Let's go to exercise eight, number one, who, Thomas Edison, number two, where, the village. Number three, uh, which? Yes, a thing. Number four, Silicon Valley is a place, so you put where. Number five, uh, which? Yes, an invention. Six, who? Maria B. B is lay. Yes, okay. And exercise ten. Yes, look at blah, blah, blah. Complete the text with who, which, or where. Number one, which? Number two, where? Number three, where there is a lake. Number four, who like he hiking and camping. Number five, which can break. Six, who invented live straw. Yes, okay. La, los sorbetes, las pajitas que le decimos nosotros. Yes, okay. Uh, think of a famous 11 person, an invention, and a place or a city. Write a sentence to define or explain each sentence. Pensa un objeto cualquiera. He is the scientist. San Martin is the man who crossed the Andes, for example. Yes. Uh, he is the scientist who explained the relativity. Este. Uh, it is a thing which people often watch in their living rooms with their family. What's that? A television. This is a very important thing that everybody uses for doing homework online. Internet or the computer, for example. Yes, practica haciendo esto. Entonces, buscate a place, ya hicimos al principio, pero para, para cerrar. A place, a person, teacher root is the person who, yes, yes, okay, who explains us English. Yes, is it clear? Well, that was all. Revise everything. 60, 61, 62, 1, 3, 4, and 5, and 63 as homework. See you next class. Welcome back. Remember, energy, 
um, and everything positive for this second period. Bye bye for a year. See you next class.